Hey guys, it's the Action Hybrid. Today, Marvel showed off their first Captain America Civil War footage at D23. It looks really awesome, and this is the real thing, it's not fake. Um, so, I'll be putting this article in the description so you guys can read it later. It is. They give the time of uh, the following events that happened 10 for the 8 a.m. But they also teased the Doctor Strange concept arts, but they did not. They did not show footage because it starts shooting in November and there's no footage to show. Mm. Okay, so this is the, well, what what the images in the concept art say. Images in the concept art reveal the classic origin story: a wounded surgeon seeking alternate ways to heal his destroyed hands finds his way to a magical eastern sanctuary and leads him to an order that holds key to another dimension. Okay, so there is one part that shows. Okay, so this is what. This is this is what we see in the Captain America Civil War trailer. The new event here's the new Avengers are in buildings overlooking a crowded market in what appears to be a third world country. Eyes on target folks, Captain America says. Falcon says Red Wing lunch. So Captain America will have his will have Red Wing in the movie but it's robotic. Yeah, as as they say yeah. And a, a small drone hovers and dives down the street, swooping beneath a truck. Which is loaded with explosive. Black Widow, Scarlet Johansson is in a cafe. In a battering ram, she says. The team closes in and a tr truck opens up, revealing Crossbones, also known as Brook Ramlo, played by Frank Grillo from the Winter Soldier. He spots Cap moving in and throws a magnetic bomb onto Cap's vibranium shield. Cap thinks fast, throwing the shield to the sky just as it denotates. Or denote. Detonate I do not know how to pronounce that. He is now unarmed and Crossbones pummels. The rest of Crossbones crew springs into action. Falcon blocks machine gun fire with his wings. Black Widow flips through the air, sending bad guys flying. Crossbones grips Cat and slams him into a concrete wall. He leers at the hero from behind a metallic skull shaped mask. You drop the building on my face, he snarls, a reference to the conclusion of the Winter Soldier. Cap rips his gauntlet off and pushes free, then tears off the metal mask. Crossbone kneels, defeated and mutters, you know, he remembered you, Bell, your buddy, your bucky. Turns out Captain America does have a weak spot. <coughs> From there we get the Marvel Studios logo and cut to William Hurt as Secretary of State Thaddeus Rose, the former general known as the nemesis of incredible help. The world owes you an unpayable doubt, Ross says, as heroes and play on the screen. While a hero great, many people see you as a hero. There are some people who prefer the word vigilante. People are afraid. Cap is indigent. Indigent. This job. We try to save as many as we can. Sometimes that doesn't mean everybody, he says. Then we see a shot familiar to anyone who waited for the end credits of, uh, after end man the Winter Soldier himself, Cap's old friend Bucky Bars, played by Sebastian Stan. He's trapped in a warehouse with his metallic arm locked in vice. Buck, you know me? An assassin voice. Assassin whose mind was wiped in the previous Captain America movie looks up. My mom's name was Sarah, he says. We used to wear newspapers in your shoes, and then we get a reunion between Cap and another powerful being, Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man. Sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth, he says. Something has happened, something that can't be undone. The world wants heroes to stay heroes, but they need to be regulated, controlled. We see a flash of heroes. Scarlet Witch, Elizabeth Olsen, Paul Bettany as the vision, wearing street clothes, a dapper suit. Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye striking a pose with his t bow and arrow. Chadwick Boseman as t Chala in regular clothes and also in his Black Panther armor, complete with gloves that extend razor sharp blades from fingernails. As we see various teams of powerful beings running at each other, the footage cuts to another van, this one with Paul Rudd's and men inside. He meets Cap and totally geeks out. Captain America, he says, all struck shaking his idol's hand and shaking it some more. And then some more. I'm shaking your hand too long, he says, pinwheeling around. He looks at Scarlet Witch. I know you too, and man says. You're great. He tries to play it cool. I want to say, I know you are lost super people. So thanks so things for thinking of me, he says. Then he pauses, blinks. Thanks for thinking of me, he corrects himself. Okay, so Spider-Man uh, is not gonna be, he's not in the trailer, which 
that, that's really sad we really wanted spider-man but d23 is not over yet so there's still chances that we can see spider-man the homemade outfit the iron spider suit or the spider-man suit either one will do we just want a glimpse of tom holland and spider-man we want to see how where, where marvel is going with spider-man and i think this description means a piece of footage where Black Widow and Hawkeye were actually fighting and um, Hawkeye says either Hawkeye or Black Widow says are we still friends? I think it's Black Widow then Hawkeye says like Dep- depends on how hard you hit me so they missed that out mm. so thanks for watching this video guys D23 is not over yet hopefully um, we will get some Spider-Man soon as expected it wouldn't be in the trail uh, uh, we expected Marvel to probably show some concept art. Hopefully Marvel does do that. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I'm off for now.